Oh, them red wing boots. Those coons would wear. Yeah, those coons had their own little pairs. Oh, they walked for many, 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 many days. How many tracks they made? Even the mathematician could not calculate them all. Boy, I'm telling you now, there they were. There was Weezer. There was a head coon. And there was all the little coons searching for that beautiful mountain. The most beautiful mountain of them all. Blackbird Mountain. Well, here we are. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna we're gonna go and try to see if we can't find us a picture show. Well, they found a picture show all right. It was up on those Blackbird Mountains, they thought. But no, there wasn't no picture show up there. All they was up there was nothing. So therefore, it wasn't Blackbird Mountain at all. It wasn't the mountain they was looking for for the past ten years. Uh, they getting hungry now. Those Granny Smith apples are running out. Oh, the coffee barrel is down to the last pot. What are they going to do? What are they going to do when their coffee's gone? Their Granny Smith's apples, they have no more. They're ten miles away from their home, or ten years away from their home. They might as well just took a walk and walk to the moon and back. Well, they've no further than when they started. Because in reality, they don't know where Blackbird Mountain is at all. No, they don't know. But like I said, said several times before, they found some beautiful mountains. The most beautiful mountains they've ever seen. But how they determine that it wasn't the mountain they was looking for? Well, they searched those mountains all the way from the beginning to the end. There was no firecracker down in the high tower looking through a crystal ball up on the, up on the floor of, that, of any of those beautiful mountains. There wasn't no turtle fiddler. There wasn't a turtle fiddler growing his crops, growing his gardens. That's the most beautiful rainbow colors you've ever seen. No, there was no leprechaun. He was not a pilot of big birds up there because they weren't there. He wasn't there at all on any of these beautiful mountains. We walked him from the start to the finish, all of them. But guess what? We see nobody at all. We see nobody on those mountains. Because those mountains didn't belong to nobody but the wild birds. Those birds as big as jets. Those dragon birds, a leprechaun would say. Them's the ones I pilot. And I take, uh, I took fire, or who did I take for the ride? I forget. I think it was Weezer. Yes, it was Weezer, all right. He took a ride with the leprechaun. Leprechaun, well, he said, look, look down there at old Weezer. Look down there. How beautiful, how beautiful the turtle fiddler's gardens are. Can you count the stalks? Can you count the beans? Can you see the corn? And said, can you see the wild greens? Well, Weezer said, yes, I can. And I love corn. He said, I ate corn a while back with the biggest, the biggest coon you've ever seen. We called him the big coon. The big coon. Oh, he was big, all right. He loved corn. He could eat corn for three days and three nights and never stop. How much he weighed, old Weezer? Oh, that coon must have weighed over 400 pounds. And he's still growing. He's a growing, and he's still in my corn patch, said the turtle fiddler. How's he in my corn patch when he's never found the Blackbird Mountain? Or like you said, the turtle fiddler, 
performed a lot of magic too. He was just as good as Firecracker Dan. He was better than a leprechaun. When the turtle fiddler, when he performed magic, just like the old vine, just like the old fiddle he had played, he didn't know any uh, no strings to beat old Johnny on that stage. Therefore, he needed no strings. He needed no nothing at all, but his magical hole. His magical chopping hole that he chopped the weeds down. That's what he needed. He sent his corn past part of it to the big fat coon so he could he could gobble it up and just grow like no coon had ever grown before. It's the magic of the turtle fiddler, the turtle fiddler, the turtle fiddler that calls that old coon to eat so much of that good old corn. Turtle Fiddler knew that he's going to get in the patch. He knew he's going to eat it down to the stalk. He knew he's going to grow up to 400 pounds or more. And he did that at one good setting of eating for three days. Yeah, that old coon. He was Weezer's best friend now. He was the one to set off to walk the trail. He was the one to set off the walk to find. To walk discover, to locate, to call it his own, Blackbird Mountain.